initially when I inter encountered liberty, of course it was about liberation, liberated to serve liberation, and mostly on pension services. Simon expressed his desire to grow his company then, a small startup so to speak, uh, but uh, he wanted to raise it and grow it uh, based on those values. The vision for Liberty Pension Services is to enhance social welfare, financial services for the benefit of all mankind together with the stakeholders that relate to the company. It started in Vision Plaza along Mombasa Road. It was a small office, just a single room, whereby we shared the boardroom. It was also our MD's office come the boardroom and the office was so squeezed, the printers, the heat, the congestion. Now when we grew, that's when we, we managed to move to Ngonglon. The fact that uh, he shared about how starting really small, on a small capital base, uh, and yet at that point in time he had begun to attract good clients, yet he held on to good values of ethics. I know Liberty Pensions as a company that started in, as a pensions company, that started in 2011 with mm, one staff and no clients. They started in a humble beginning. They had only three pieces, you know, normal painting machines. My major contribution to see that we are financially sound and that we are financially accountable, that our books of accounts are kept properly that the financial projections are making sense and also in strategy because I have also been uh, instrumental in strategy matters but also important is the issues of governance and internal control. I can describe Simon as someone who has faith that can move mountains because he pushes us towards potential that we never thought we had. Simon Wafuba on the other hand is a very very accommodating kind person, a go-getter and uh, He's really a performer. And he's also very intelligent in terms of pension. Uh, if he can go with that and he transfer the same knowledge to his staff, the Ribert pension will go far. Yeah, when I am position one, he gives me gifts. Like when I was position one, he took me for a ride in the air. First, let's appreciate that Someone is a very professional person and he doesn't run the, this outfit in a Joakali manner. He's very humble, I'd say that. Very humble um, individual. He's very, he's able to communicate and to teach and to educate. He's a kind of person who would also mentor you. Um, it doesn't matter really because we're in different fields, but he's someone who is able to, to develop you in terms of your knowledge and to develop his own people. With liberty, they had a very, very systematic way by which they went through each of the compliance points. I think one of the fundamental pillars of organizational sustainable growth is culture. The corporate culture is the oxygen, is what we keep breathing. Without it, uh, they, it's quite easy for the organization to crumble. Is, is the fabric that holds the organization together. So we deliberately developed uh, uh, our values, which we continue to live. That's integrity, empathy, uh, innovation. Uh, we are quite passionate about what we do, and uh, we always like to play as team. But one uh, critical one that I found that is quite critical in the area of our financial service sector is integrity. Ideally, like Stephen Covey would observe, that uh, when trust is high, the speed of doing business is high and the cost is low. Uh, Simon tells us that uh, he began with a capital base of 300,000 shillings. And today, the fact that they have a holding of pensions that they administrate worth over 40 billion shillings, and doing this with integrity never corrupting you know, in that journey, uh, never paying a bribe, never paying kickbacks, to me is it's astounding and it's a sense of hope for this country. They are motivated to deliver their services 
I believe even in the service charter they work towards that. And I'm glad to have been associated with Liberty Pension and entirely by the entire staff. Um, Simon began with zero clients on day one and him and the rest of the team have worked so hard uh, in a span of a very short amount of time, five years or so, to build a company now that's on very stable footing. What I hold dear to my heart is making sure that the customer is satisfied with what we do at Liberty. My colleagues at Liberty Pension Services are really warm people. They are very, very accommodating. They are people who would show you the way when you, you stray. Uh, they're very professional, um, most um, very responsive to issues that we raise, and of course very proactive also. I think they believe in, uh, in, in welfare of, of, of you know, the public, um, in, pub in the public being prepared um, for you know, retirement and after work. You can tell that they have the experience, um, there's a quality, so you, you tend to eventually trust what they're telling you. It's good that they're futuristic. Um, the last year, is it last year they launched, or this year, they launched the, they have an e-portal for customers. So you can be able to track your, you know, your contributions online. Um, you can be able to project um, what eventually, what you're contributing and what, you know, eventually will be the output. We believe in treating all the customers as stakeholders. And we do believe in giving all the best to our customers making sure that uh, what we do, the kind of job that we do, is for the benefits of all the clients, uh, making sure that we have their interests in our hearts, and for everything that we do at Liberty Pension Services is to make their life better. Uh, of course, teamwork, integrity, tenacity, and most importantly, empathy. Ours is to serve mankind, and serving mankind means serving the people that have put us in office. A leader, in my estimation, is a person who has a focus, who is determined and has an eye to do good. The focus, uh, you'll see dedication, you'll see commitment and the warmth of the people who are there. So it strikes you just at the outset. They are in touch with their clients and they would actually go an extra mile to ensure that we, we play our role as a custodian bank uh, for the betterment of, of their clients. I would recommend to any person who wants to really get a good pension administrator, choose Liberty. You can't go wrong with them. There's been a consistent increase in uh, revenues year on year. Uh, like uh, 2015, we did uh, about uh, 45 million in revenues. That was an increase of about uh, 20 to 15 million uh, from the previous 20, 2014. We are very privileged that uh, at the moment we have a market share of about 5% uh, offering pension services to over 100 organizations uh, with about uh, 40 billion um, and uh, we have a team of uh, slightly in excess of 20 and this is just well intended in line with our vision to secure a dignified retirement life uh, for the members of staff of organizations that we serve within our uh, occupational pension schemes. So at the moment, uh, what we've done is to, again, pioneer in terms of uh, ICT innovation. So we have a robust software where members can access their statements online. Having branches in the region, Rwanda, Burundi. And we have realized that liberation means also empowerment and enabling uh, people to empower their lives and retire in dignity and therefore we are moving now towards a bigger social security services not just for this country but for the region in Africa. We have identified various gaps which we are fulfilling the need of the market um, through alternative services and products. My view is that the future is very bright for this organization. Uh, we don't want to be the pension administrator or the financial services company of uh, choice, but we want to be the only choice when people look at uh, this kind of, uh, when people are looking for this kind of services. I do hope that they go beyond the borders, I mean, to the region. We see an organization 
playing in the financial services sector across the continent of Africa. We see thousands and thousands of orphans going to school. I think as five years to us is symbolic in the sense that uh, it signifies wholeness, uh, completeness, and uh, we want to thank so much our stakeholders who have believed in us for the last five years, worked with us this journey uh, from no customer to over uh, 100 customers at the moment, uh, from zero fund value to over 40 billion um, in terms of the assets of the customers that we serve, and uh, from no uh, uh, staff member, one single staff member to offer um, uh, 20 uh, staff members that we serve. And uh, this has, of course, given us a benefit of uh, learning and unlearning uh, through which we have mastered excellence. And now we transition with the same heritage of core values that we have built on over time in the Liberty Pension Services Limited as we transition into the future. We, our commitment, our renewed commitment and zeal remains basically focused in the social security services sector within the continent of Africa.